weather here tonight. Mm -hmm. It's it's strong in a different way though, and that's what you're watching closely going into the weekend. And I think the biggest factor here is we have so many people who are traveling outside of their normal area. Right. So up and down the state, we're going to see big weather, weather impacts going from the rain and the wind to heavy snow over those mountain passes. Yeah, whether you're going down to California or you're just staying right here in the Mount Hood area, you're going to run into some issues on those roadways. Here's a live look right now from Portland. You can see the rain continues to fall. Ridgefield wet roads here. Lots of extra traffic right there on I-5. Mount Hood, this snow has been falling nonstop. Lincoln City, you're getting gusts anywhere from 45 to almost 50 miles per hour. There's a live look right there. You can see that camera bouncing all around. The only thing that's left out on the beach are a couple of birds just hanging on tight. So mountain passes right now, this is what it looks like. We're just starting to get some light accumulations right here. Highway 26, Mount Hood going through Government Camp, Santiam Pass, Willamette Pass. Highway 26 going over the coast range for the Sunset Rest area. You're just seeing rain at this point. Your temperature a little bit too warm to see any snow, but all that changes as soon as we get to tonight. A winter storm warning going into effect starting tonight, lasting through Sunday night. Two to four feet of snow. Even if we were just talking about two feet of snow, that would be significant all by itself. But two to four feet of snow above 3,000 feet is where you're going to encounter the highest totals. Wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour. That could create some whiteout conditions. And you can see it covers a really wide area. It's not just Mount Hood. We're going up to the Washington Cascades all the way down past Lane County, all the way down to the California border. Winter storm warning also for the coast range. Here above 1,500 feet, you could encounter four to eight inches, but you get a little bit higher and you could encounter upwards of a foot or more of snow for the coast range. We're not expecting any snow accumulations for the valley, but you could see some of it falling as we get to the second part of our weekend. But look at these numbers. If you have to go over those mountain passes, get it done now. Get it on the road as soon as you can because because after tonight, there's going to be a lot of snow sticking to those roadways. Live look right now from our Subaru camera. Portland temperature of 48 degrees. Wind out of the south at 11. Temperatures tonight will be in the mid 40s with heavier showers on the way tonight after about 9 o'clock. All of that will be associated with this cold front right here. Behind the cold front, we have, yes, colder air. Heaviest showers will be showing up here as we get to the next couple of hours. The amount of rain that we're going to see. From tonight going all the way into Saturday night could be upwards of a full inch of rain. Look at what happens as soon as we add Sunday's totals and Monday. Now we're approaching almost two inches of rain. That is significant for just a three day period. Here's your day planner for tomorrow. Waking up to light rain to start, low 40s, ending up with showers heavy at times for the afternoon. Temperatures only getting up to 51 for you tomorrow. Mountain forecast. Again, getting there is going to be the hardest part. By the time you're there Saturday, low 20s, blowing snow. Sunday, snow still falling, 22 degrees for you. Oregon coast forecast. You're expecting gusty winds tonight through tomorrow. Chance for thunderstorms tomorrow, along with showers on and off. A temperature of 46 at the coast. Sunday, 44, and you'll have bigger breaks in between those showers by Sunday. Looking at your seven day forecast, uh, we put alert days on Saturday, Sunday and Monday because of those lowering snow levels. This will be impacting roadways between about 500 to 1000 feet by the time we get to early Monday morning when many folks are getting back to work and back to school. You might be running into some delays Monday morning because of those lower snow levels. Don't worry, it gets back to normal as we get to the middle of next week. Okay, just as we start the month of April. Yes, how about that? Thanks, Natasha. We'll be back after this break.